Just to, just to get back to, he is having to address this. I think a lot of voters are wondering, too, and, and they're, they've seen this before. And, and it's, it is, I think, it's difficult for a voter when this guy's been in the public eye a long time. He's been running for president a year and a half. And now a few weeks before Election Day, all of this stuff comes out. The New York Times several months ago did a long piece on his relationships with women and pointed out that... Uh, he actually was kind of a trailblazer in hiring women to run yeah. construction projects in the New York City area. So I don't know if they just missed it then or, or, no, or maybe they, there's they, more they, to they it. Waited, they waited for the time right. that it would have the most impact. Yeah, Let's but face you know, it, my, there's my no point. secret here. I was on what? last night with two biographers, two biographers, each of whom had written a 400 or so page biography, very critical of Donald Trump, thousands of footnotes. Neither one of them had any allegations in these very critical books of Donald Trump assaulting anyone. There was that, but of course, divorce papers. Wait, 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 wait a minute, minute Betsy. Betsy. My point Betsy. Is, is if you ignore the mainstream media coverage, if you uh, ignore the, what, what has even happened in the last week, it is his own voice right. and his own action. Yeah, that's right. He ultimately, and it's on tape. He was well, that absolutely is. But I'm just talking about what he did on, just in tw just Twitter the last yeah. year and a half. Well, well, the timing is well, so well, odd. Isn't this, the yeah. isn't this the strategy, Richard? I mean, let's face it. He does have a very simple, straightforward message on the economy. Most, bit, most small business people will say they're desperate for that 15% corporate tax rate. He's got a good message on economics. She doesn't have as cohesive a message on the economy. We really don't know what her economic plan is. Come on, we don't. And so she's got to take him off message. The yeah. other thing is the timing of all of this. Hillary Clinton used 21 different variations of the statement, I do not recall. When answering <laughs> questions about private email server in court papers revealed yesterday. Maria, Richard, let's Maria. talk. I, I'm not taking anything away from the argument against Trump. That's not what this is about. Fair. But That's when you're fair. looking at Hillary Clinton, I mean, she's accused of permanently erasing emails on her private server. So no one's talking uh, about it because the, uh, the oxygen is being sucked up by all of these comments about Donald Trump. Well, here, what, two, two points on that, Maria. Point number one uh, is that Donald Trump is doing this to himself. Over and over again, it's Donald doing stuff. You can't blame the media. You can't blame Hillary Clinton. You can't blame her campaign. You've got to blame Donald Trump for not being a good messenger of his own message. But Number two, wait a minute. Number two, on Hillary's emails, over and over again, I've talked about these emails. Hillary spent 11 hours on Capitol Hill talking about these emails. These, don't get me wrong. I think Americans find her to be not trustworthy, but that doesn't seem to matter in the most recent Fox News poll because those numbers are baked in. Her campaign has worked tirelessly to sort of bury this issue, but the American people already know about it. Yeah. What makes this Donald Trump news so damning is, yeah, it, the timing might be the timing, but here's the thing. He said those words on that bus, yeah. and that is what's making all of these stories probable. You know, because they, the, you have the... Yeah. You have the bus story, you have Avanya, his wife, when she got a divorce in her testimony, talk about being raped in the marriage, and it all, all sets it paper. up. He sets it up himself. I'm sorry. Right. It's and his words. He, yep. Afterwards yep. of that right. rally, he puts right. a picture of her up and says, oh, do, 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 what do you think? Look at her. I mean, that's, come on. Is that going to make people is, think you're not? Do we want an election with the referendum on being politically correct? Or do we want an election I'm that sorry, really chooses not about political Betsy, correctness? Betsy, Betsy, I have to stop, have to well, stop you right here. You cannot talk about political correctness. You cannot talk rape. I don't rape is not politically or listen. Rape is not politically correct, and every American agrees with that. So let's not have that conversation. Sexual assault. I've encountered a lot of. So, but this is the argument that is used over and over again by the Trump campaign and Trump surrogates: political correctness, political correctness, the media. I'm sorry, that doesn't excuse what he said on that. Bus that doesn't excuse yeah, what he said to a, women over the past year. Yeah. That's it doesn't right. excuse But Hillary it. Clinton has endangered so American yeah. security and turned the State Department into a, her own ATM machine. That is much worse. You know what's incredible to me? I don't I, think I, so. Hillary Clinton was so beatable. Yeah. <laughs> Two thirds of the people do not trust her. her she was so beatable. Yeah. She's and still beatable. And, 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 that. Is and why, here we go. This is why she's still beatable. They blew it again. Uh, you look at all of the problems, all of the mistakes he's made, and yet she still cannot hit 50% yeah. in just about every poll. And I think that's why, if you're a Trump supporter, you hang on to the hope that basically we have here two people with pretty big character flaws. I mean, we don't know all the allegations and which ones are true and which ones aren't. But uh, it comes back to 
what, who's going to lead the country? And the only person who's laid out the plan for economic growth is is Donald Trump. I'll dig into the polls later because there's a lot more in here that's things. troubling. We're going to get we're going to get into the polls. Great conversation, Richard Fowler, Betsy McCoy. Good to have you both on the program. Thank Thanks, you. Maria. Getting the issues on the table. We appreciate it.